my friends. So today is going to be the last day that we read Everywhere Babies. Do you remember what Everywhere Babies is about? I want you to think for a minute and then tell your family members some of the things that we read about in Everywhere Babies. Our author is Susan Myers. Susan Myers' job is to write the words and our illustrator who makes the pictures is Marla Brazy. Today we're going to be able to learn about something else that babies can do, how they can move from place to place. Before babies can learn how to walk like big kids like you, they have to crawl. Can you say this word with your family members? Say crawl. Now let's clap the word for crawl to see how many syllables there are. Ready? Get your hands out and say crawl. We clapped one time, so that means there's only one syllable in the word for crawl. Now let's whisper the word with your family members for the first time. Crawling is a way that babies can move around before they learn how to walk. We were learning about newborn babies. Can they crawl yet? No, newborn babies have to roll first before they can learn how to crawl. Today we're going to be able to read about the ways that babies can move. And we're going to be able to put our word for crawl right up here with all of the other words we've been learning. So now let's get ready to read Everywhere Babies by Susan Myers and learn about the ways that babies can move. Everywhere Babies by Susan Myers and illustrated by Marla Frazee. Every day, everywhere, babies are born. Fat babies, thin babies, small babies, tall babies, winter and spring babies, summer and fall babies. Every day, everywhere, babies are kissed on their cheeks, on their ears, their fingers, their nose, on the top of their head, on their tummy, their toes. Why do you think babies are kissed? How do you think it makes the baby feel? Turn and tell your family member how it makes you feel when they give you kisses. Every day, everywhere, babies are dressed in diapers and t-shirts, in buntings and sleepers, in playsuits and dresses, in sweaters and creepers. Can the babies dress themselves? Can you dress yourself? Who do you think can help the babies get dressed? Every day, everywhere, babies are fed by bottle, by breast, with cups and with spoons, with milk and then cereal, carrots and prunes. Every day, everywhere, babies are rocked in cradles, in chairs, at nap time and night, by friends and relations who cuddle them tight. Can you pretend that you're rocking your baby by putting your arms together and rocking back and forth? Every day, everywhere, babies are carried in backpacks, in front packs, in slings and in strollers, in car seats and bike seats, and on daddy's shoulders. Every day, everywhere, babies make noise. They cry and they squeal, they giggle, they coop. They bang and they splash. They clap their hands too. Look at the baby in the middle who's wearing the yellow bathing suit. How do you think that baby is feeling? What sounds do you think the baby can make to tell how the baby is feeling? Turn and tell your family members how you think the baby is feeling and what sounds the baby can make. Every day, everywhere, babies like toys. Rattles and tops and books that won't tear. Old pots and pans and a fuzzy brown bear. Every day, everywhere, babies play games. Peekaboo, pat a cake, this little piggy. Roll the ball, ride a horse, jiggity jiggy. Every day, everywhere, babies make friends. With a puppy, a kitten, a goldfish, a bunny. With young people, old people, anyone funny. As babies get older, they start making friends and spending time 
with different people and even animals. If a baby wants to play but doesn't know how to walk, can you show your family members how you think the baby might move around? Every day, everywhere, babies are crawling. Forward and backward on bottoms and knees, upstairs and downstairs, wherever they please. Did you crawl like a baby to show how babies can move around? In this picture, where do you see that the babies are crawling? As the babies grow, how else do you think the babies can move? Every day, everywhere, babies are walking. One step, another. They fall down and then pick themselves up and try it again. So after babies learn how to crawl, then they learn how to walk. But it looks like this baby needs a lot of practice to learn how to walk. But that's okay. The baby doesn't give up and keeps on trying. Every day, everywhere, babies are growing. They can run, they can jump, they can slide, they can swing, they can dig, they can climb, they can talk, they can sing. So babies are learning so many things like how to walk and run and jump. When a baby learns how to move in more ways, they have more control over their body. Can you move like some of these babies with your family members? Being a baby is a lot of work. There's so much to learn and so much growing to do. Every day, everywhere, babies are loved. For trying so hard, for traveling so far, for being so wonderful. Just as they are. The end. We learned so much about how babies can move from place to place. Can you turn and tell your family members, when you're at the playground, how do you move? What are some of the ways that you can move your body? Now we are going to be able to learn more about how babies learn to walk. So thank you for reading with me today, my friends. Bye.